Hello everyone and welcome back to Ventures with Them. So today I wanted to show you something that we had gotten in yesterday. I went ahead and put up one set of them because I wasn't really sure exactly how much I was going to like them. So I thought I would just kind of give it a try and see, but I really do like these. This is a set of shelves that I wanted to get because we, we don't really collect a lot of stuff. But we do tend to bring back at least one souvenir whenever we go places. I collect things like magnets, and maybe one day I'll show you my magnet collection. Um, and I usually bring back a magnet and a Christmas ornament or something along those lines. I uh, usually try to bring back at least one of each of those, and then uh, I love coffee mugs. I just kind of started collecting those. But anyway, I just wanted to show you. So... I found this set of shelves that were on Amazon, and they were running about $15 a shelf, but they come in a set of two. So I thought, I'm going to try these and see. The thing I like about them is they have a lip on them. So if you put something in here that just doesn't stand up well on its own, maybe a picture frame that the back doesn't really hold well, you can put it in there and it can't slide any further than this lip right here. Or if something happens and it falls, you have this little lip to kind of catch things, which I've actually used quite a bit here setting this, this individual shelf up. But there are two shelves. The other shelf is right there. And I'm just kind of starting them up. Like I said, I just put them up last night. So this isn't the way that they're going to look. I'm going to try to get the tripod back up here. Good. I have them on the tripod so that I can move around. But... This is the way they come in. These are the 36 inch set. Um, there is two in this. You can see there's just a piece of styrofoam right there, but that's how they come apart. The one thing I really like about these is they already have the holes drilled into them. And so when you look at them from the inside, it already has a little indention there for the screws to go into. So when you're putting them in, it's really easy to make sure that they go into the center and that they're hidden. The other thing I like about it is it comes with a leveler. I know, it's crazy. It's it's so cute. It's a little bitty leveler that basically you figure out where you want to put the shelves. You put the first screw in the middle and make sure that it's not too tight. And then you can just kind of move them around until it's exactly level according to the level back here in the middle. And then you screw in the other two. I mean, I always measure mine out, though, and then, you know, try to do it. But, I mean, even where I thought it was exactly right yesterday, I was just a little bit off. Maybe, a you know, quarter of an inch at most. But still, it was off. So, anyway. So, this is just a little collection of some things that we've brought back. This definitely isn't everything. But this is a few things. A few of my favorite things, anyway. Um, so... If you were with us on the trip that we took, we got the, the Dr. Seuss book, and I love this. It's so cute, and I thought I wanted to put it up here because this was one of the first things that I did when I started this channel. So, there's my Seussisms book. This is the R2-D2 from the candy uh, vlog that I did, the candy haul where we try it before you buy it. If you have not seen that, you need to check that one out. That was a lot of fun. This was my first trip to Disney. That's been so many years ago. Oh, goodness. Maybe 12 or so years ago. But that was my first button. I just had it in a box. And I've been kind of collecting a few things in there. And I really didn't know what to do with them. I didn't want to get rid of them. And I really didn't have any place to put them. So I thought, why not? So I'm going to kind of start doing a lot of my um, home vlogs from this area and except for when I'm cooking, so I thought, why not? So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I've got up here. Um, this is my little uh, Mickey Peace bracelet. I got this many, many years ago, and I just love it. And I thought, why not? You know, I can just kind of display it up here. When I started collecting movies through the um, Disney Movie Club, this was one of the things you got if you bought the Lion King movie when it was put back out. And I have a little piece of tape behind it just to keep it. But I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's actually some of the film footage in there from the Lion King. And it tells you all about it on the back. 
So I wanted to put that up there because I wanted to keep it and I love it. It's a limited edition piece. These are the exploding bonbons when we went to um, Universal Studios. This came from Honeydukes in um, the Wizarding area. This was $9.95. This, this stuff is expensive, but it's really neat because it's something that you don't get all the time or you can't find just anywhere. So this was um, interesting, and we actually bought it just to keep. I didn't buy it to eat it. But this is orange and pineapple flavored bonbons. So, but it says orange and pineapple flavored bonbons. It's a real boom. So, anyway, I thought those were cute. So, we got, and it's just got little decorations around it. So, we got that and kept it. One of the other ones is when you go to Universal Studios, you have to get a chocolate frog. It was from the other candy store over on the other side in this one is from um honey dukes which is actually in island of adventures this came from the candy store over in uh universal studios that that part so this is the chocolate frog and he looks a little rough because i mean this stuff is expired because we got it years ago, but you can see he's the real chocolate frog in there. The little bag is even starting to bust, but we just got it and kept it because we just wanted it for a souvenir, but you can see it's the real chocolate frog box from there. This one was $10.95. They're just milk chocolate shaped uh, chocolate frogs, and they do come with the card in them like it talks about in the movies and so forth, and this is the card. That came in in this one. This is the Helga Hufflepuff, and they do move. They're they're the movable ones. They they change in light. And then this is actually a pin. If you collect pins, the Disney pins for the lanyards, this is actually one of the collectible pins. And I got this one from the Disney Movie Club as well. Whenever I ordered in the Aladdin movie so this was um one and it's it's just one that we would never trade it when we go to do pin trading we would never trade this one just because it's one that you can't just buy you know we we had to get it my frog it wants to sit up there now this was one of the little um frames that i got while we were there I actually got this one from the Universal Studios store at the Orlando airport, and it has just the magnets on the back, so you can put this up at uh, or up on the refrigerator, and I ended up getting two of these because it is also just a little, a little frame that you can stand up or you can hang it with the magnet, so I've got one for up here, and then I've got one on my refrigerator. And then this is my Mandalorian, the milk chocolate uh, box. If That was also in that uh, candy haul vlog that we did or video that we did um, where we tried before you buy it. And so I kept him. He's also movable. This is pumpkin juice. I love these. They're so cute. Mainly I got it for the decorations. But I mean, you can buy pumpkin juice at Universal Studios in Orlando. And I'm sure also in California, but this one did come from Orlando. This one came from, I think it may have actually come from Honey Dukes, but I'll have to check back on that and see. I'm, I'm not really certain which one this one came from, but we did drink it. It's There's nothing in here now, but I kept it because it was so cute with the little pumpkin on top, so I just kept it for a decoration. But I don't collect bottles and stuff normally as we use them I throw them away but I was actually glad that I kept this one because um I was able to use it somewhere here in the house so I did like that okay and then these were just some of the photos that we took while we were on our trip to Universal Studios when we went several years ago we did it for a Christmas present for the kids it was basically their Christmas and their birthday, and we went and stayed for several days, but 
This was taken at Islands or um, yes, Islands of Adventure at when the Dr. Seuss area with Cat in the Hat and then Thing One and Two, and then the Lorax. We took it over there also. This is actually with Marilyn Monroe and Lucy, and this was taken in Universal Studios just down the first street there. So. And then uh, several other ones. This one was taken at Volcano Bay. That one's from Disney Springs. It was all on the same trip. These were all done on the same trip. Uh, this was at City Walk with the um, soldiers, toy soldiers. They're actually on stilts, so that was really neat to see. Rainforest Cafe. And then that's outside of Billabong and City Walk also. They have... Um, a surfboard there for for photo op purposes so anyway but so this is something that I just kind of started I was wanting to do it but I really wasn't sure you know where or how or whatever my plan was really going to be with it and so I'm really loving this um I actually have I got two sets to go in here the, my television is actually right here so I plan on putting one set here and one set over there. And then I actually ended up buying another set. So I actually have another another one. So I could do a third shelf down here and do three on this side and three on that side, which is what I may do. Or I may end up putting another set, making it, these are three foot long. So if I put them side by side, it would be six foot and that would go over my TV. So I may end up doing that. I'm not really sure yet. but And it may be a little too much in here for all of that. But, you know, I, I, that's one thing that I love to do. And a lot of people are like, I don't ever print photos out because they're on my phone or, you know, things like that. But one thing that I do when we go places is I always try to get as many photos as I can of the kids mainly. But us and the kids whenever I can. I use MPix. And I order my photos through there. And I always order 5 by 7s because they just are, are amazing. But I always order from Mpix and I order the um, metallics. They have that option. They're very inexpensive. They do add a little extra to do the metallics. But I think the photos end up being around $2 or maybe $3 a piece at most when I get them in. So these were all five by sevens, and then I have actually cut these down. These were five by sevens that I cut down to four by sixes to go into these frames, but those are all five by sevens up there, and I do a lot of them that way. One of the other things that I've done is I actually have photos, and I think I'll just take you in there and show you. So hold on just a minute, and let's go see. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare, but I'm actually sitting in the bathroom now. But I wanted to show you one of the other things that I do. I love this, and I have done this for several years, but these are 5 by 7 frames. And you just take them, and you can DIY them. Just put them together with some wood glue, depending on what your frames are made out of. But, um, yeah, so I just put them together, and I make this little collage that all just fits together. And these are all done in the metallics as well, as you can see. Um, they're all metallic images. I was trying to show you with the light on them because you can just see them. Like, they just stand out so well. So, if you haven't seen those, you can use mine to judge them by. But, yeah, that's this is why I do the metallics. But this is one of my favorite things to do is to make the nine by nine or three by three nine set um photo collages so there you go okay so yeah that's one of my favorite things to do is to make the little uh three by three nine set collage uh frames and whenever we go somewhere i try to get at least nine really good photos that i love I try to do each one of the kids in one of their own individual photos. And then I try to do some where they're grouped together. And then, of course, of us, too. But, yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do. And then each year, I try to put up at least one set of those. And, or I do something like this. 
but I try to do it to where, you know, we can just kind of look back. I try not to blend too many of the age groups together. I like to try to do it all from the same year so I can be like, you know, well, this, this was that year or, you know, this is, and that way they're all at the same age, you know, they're, they're not mis mismatched on their ages, but yeah, so Anyway, that's just a little one of my projects that I have going on here. So if you collect things or if you just get a souvenir when you go places like we do, you know, this is just an idea of something that you can do. And then I just took little uh, tacks and put these up. They're just a the little clear tacks. These are very lightweight frames. I usually get them just whenever I find them on sale or something. I try to get ones that look different. I don't have any that are identical. They're all different. I like to just mix them up and match them and just put them together. But anyway, that way I can display stuff up here as well as on the shelf. And this is, of course, like I said, isn't the way this is probably going to stay. Most likely it will end up, you know, changing up as we go. We go on our next trips if I bring something else back, which I'm sure I will. Um... You know, we may add some things into here and then move some of this stuff to another shelf or we may leave it and, you know, add the new stuff to the other shelves. So, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So, I just wanted to kind of share that with you of something that we just got in and something that we have going. And um, we still have one more meal to cook. I haven't done that one yet. And um, another thing is, is I have wine glasses that are mosaic. And they're beautiful. They're the big clear wine glasses. Um, there's three different sizes and they have blue mosaic glass that goes around them. And we're going to get those and pot those, put plants in them to put next to the uh, television. I have one here that you can kind of see. But this is, this is kind of what we're going to do. Give you an idea. But, um, yeah, so this is, they're really tall, but you can just kind of see how bright and pretty that is. Yeah, so we're going to take plants like these. This is, this is really dusty and it really needs to be cleaned. But we're going to actually take plants like these and put the soil and stuff in there and then plant them. So this, this one is not, you know, going to stay in here like this. This is just to get an idea of what we want to do in this. But, um, yeah, so we're going to do these and put those in here next to the television. So we'll have um, them on the sides. And if you make stuff like this, like the wine glasses with the mosaic glass or something, Please leave me a comment. Let me know. I would love to know because I'm always looking for stuff like that. I would love to find, you know, more pieces, more, you know, bowls or, you know, maybe even pieces I can put in my kitchen to store like storage canisters, you know, that are made with like the mo mosaic glass or something like that. So if you make those or you know of a company that does, please let me know. Leave it in a comment because I would love to get some of those. And uh, I'd love to be able to share it with everyone. So as we're doing things, you know, I, I would be grateful to be able to put that into a vlog. So, yeah, that's that's something that I'm looking for. And, um, okay, with that being said, you have a wonderful day.